I, I guess it's we, we've been training in, in the woodlands prior to this, especially to adapt our nutrition and train our gut, as everyone says, um, to deal with the amount of energy drink we'll be drinking on race day, because we 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 just have to drink a lot more than a normal car course. Um, we've also raced Texas, so we we know how hot uh, it can be on race day. Uh, but here it's just so humid, it's just so hot that he has to adapt and you have to drink a lot more. So drinking specially, uh, so hydration will be much higher and you'll be paying attention to that uh, all day long. And I guess that's it for us. I think too, um, you know, like in colder weather races, you can incorporate, like for me, I can incorporate some more um, fat and protein into what I eat, particularly on the bike. But here, you have to be really careful with stuff like that because your body just can't can't absorb it in such high temperatures. So you definitely have to be, um, you have to change up what you end up eating on the bike. Yeah, I think the best way to do it is just uh, on training, try, try, try. Once you found your own thing, stick to that and and do it on race day. No, no changes in the end or the last week. That's that's something you hear a lot. And uh, don't do that. Try a lot on training, and if you found yours, stick to that. 